Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. You've most likely heard the phrase, money makes the world go round. Like it or not, that's a true statement. Money drives the trade of goods and services. It drives employment and national interests as well. Now, in the United States, currency has played an integral role in the storyline of the nation. In 1913, the nature of money in the United States changed forever with the inauguration of one of the most powerful and controversial governmental systems in the nation and the subject of this episode, the central bank of the country, also known as the Federal Reserve. Now, bank runs are not uncommon to the American imagination in history, especially in recent years, as the nation has several runs on small regional banks. Now, for context, a bank run is when banking clients, often due to widespread panic or fear, would run to the bank to withdraw their money so as to not lose it. Now, in American history, both very long ago and very recently, bank runs would usually have a causal sequence, with one bank's failure usually leading quickly to others. One of the most memorable in American history was the Panic of 1907, which caused Wall Street to dip by roughly 50%. Now, this was the last straw, at least in the eyes of the federal government. So in 1913, with backing from the Congressional Federal Reserve Act, the Central Bank of the United States was born. Now, many historians and economists praise the creation of the Federal Reserve. They argue that a centralized monetary system was and still is necessary to maintain economic health in the nation. While the nation experienced sustained periods of prosperity throughout the 20th century, especially at least on a global scale, the amount of government spending also dramatically increased from the start of the Federal Reserve. Many other economists and historians believe that the creation of the Fed, while serving to meet some national needs, also gave the federal government a dangerous amount of power and actually contributed to financial crises rather than helping to avoid them, which was its original purpose, especially so with dramatic increases in spending in the national debt in the last century. Now, the Federal Reserve is made up of a board of governors, 12 regional reserve banks, and the Federal Open Market Committee, also known as the FOMC. At the top of the operation is the Federal Reserve Chairman, the first of which was a man by the name of Charles M. Hamlin, who served from 1914 to 1916. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.